This might sound like a silly thing, but most of us when drinking, you know, whether water or some other beverage, are doing it in such a way that it doesn't actually quench our thirst. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Well, overall, we're parched in our throat, right? And of course our body needs liquid and things like that. Uh, so I'm not necessarily talking about that. I'm talking about like, you know, that, that sensation in our mouth and our throat where we're like, oh, I feel dry. I want something to, uh, you know, hydrate myself with, right? And the way to do it is, you know, we kind of just drink and uh, tip our heads essentially back. But we don't necessarily want to do that. What we actually want to do is lower our chin to our uh, sort of Adam's apple, um, you know, throat area, right? So that way the liquid essentially goes and touches the back of your uh, mouth and quenches that as well, because that's the area that, you know, oftentimes feels driest because especially by not drinking, you know, in this way, we leave it unquenched, right? And for people that are in public speaking, right? Or, uh, you know, actors, things of that nature, people who are speaking a lot, right? It can be teachers, it could be anyone that's just uh, talking a lot throughout the day. This will tremendously help you. It's something that I learned uh, a while ago, actually from Robert McKee, who is a renowned, um, you know, story uh, teacher, right? And he does a lot of uh, seminars where he speaks to uh, hundreds, if not thousands of people, um, you know, in these seminars and, you know, for two hours at a time with small breaks and then multiple times in the day. So yeah, you imagine that he gets parsed. And so he's, um, you know, it's something that he taught us that has always stuck with me. And I wanted to share it with you.